Are you wondering if undervolting will increase your FPS in games? Or have you noticed that your laptop has significantly decreased in performance over the last year or two and seems to overheat all the time? Well, if so, then you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'll explore the difference between undervolting on versus undervolting off and why you should undervolt if you haven't done so yet. So sit down, strap in, let's go. So if it's not obvious by now, undervolting is the absolute best way to reduce temperatures in your little furnace, I mean laptop. Manufacturers by default allow too much voltage to be supplied to your CPU. They do this to allow for wiggle room. Wiggle room so that you don't experience a blue screen of death as soon as you power on your machine for the very first time out of the box. This results in excessive heat being produced by your CPU which in turn will affect your heat of all your system components including your GPU as it all shares the same heating solution. So the benefits of undervolting are as follows. 1. Reduction of heat on your CPU which in turn reduces overall heat for all your system. 2. Prevents your CPU from getting to the point where it throttles itself in an attempt to lower heat output. 3 will improve overall system performance drastically as your CPU isn't producing excessive heat and you get more sustained and stable system performance. 4. With less heat being produced, your lifetime of your hardware is extended. And then lastly, less electricity usage resulting in smaller energy bills. So during the intro, the first question I posed was if undervolting will increase your FPS in games. Unfortunately, the answer isn't a straightforward one. It's actually a bit of a yes and no answer. So yes, if you have an overheating system that is constantly throttling itself by undervolting your CPU, a reduction in temperature will allow your CPU and GPU to achieve higher frequencies, which in turn allows for better system performance and higher FPS. And then secondly, no, well not initially, if your system isn't prone to overheating, meaning it takes a lot of use and heavy usage at that to get it to the point of throttling. However, if you do happen to have a prolonged gaming session, undervolting will prevent your components from heating up gradually, which will allow for better sustained system performance and less FPS loss over a long period. So the second question that I posed in the intro of this video is that your system seems to be performing a lot worse as well as temperatures being a lot higher than when you first purchased your machine. Now it is very possible that when you updated Windows there was a bias update that locked you out from undervolting. So the undervolt that you previously carefully applied just isn't valid anymore. And as discussed earlier in the video, your CPU is now overheating, causing your GPU to overheat, and this is causing your system to throttle itself to get temps back under control. If that is happening to you, I do have a solution for you. I recently did a video on how to unlock undervolting, even if it's locked in the BIOS, so there is hope for you yet. I'll provide a link in the description of the video as well as a button at the end of this video so you just you can click on that video give it a watch and you can unlock undervolting in your laptop and you can get temperatures under control again now um, i'm just going to give you a couple of real world examples of what undervolting does in terms of temperatures during gameplay as well as synthetic benchmarks so let's get to it so for my first benchmark i'm going to use throttle stop so I'm just going to open up throttle stop and then go to fiver and as you can see on my core I have a minus 165 millivolt undervolt and then on my CPU cache I've got a minus 99.6 millivolt undervolt. So I'm going to reset those values to zero just so I can show you the difference in temperatures. Uh, it's not working out perfectly, sorry. And the CPU core, cool. let's get this to zero. So 
so if you just look here now, now I've, I've taken my undervolt off now I'm going to use TS Bench just to stress my CPU so it's only a 15 second test but you'll see my temperatures will go quite high so straight off my bat my temperatures are going into the mid 80s borderline the early 90s and that is with undervolting off. So my maximum temperature I got there was 88 and that was just a 15 second benchmark. So let me show you quickly the difference when you actually apply a little undervolt. So let's get back into TS, uh, into fiber. Now on my CPU core, I was at minus 165 millivolts. Okay, apply there so you see it applies back to my core and then on my cache I was minus 99.6 okay so you can see now I've, I've applied my undervolt again and now you'll be able to see straight away my temperatures are much lower so whereas I started off in the, the mid 80s now instantaneously I'm um, starting off mid 70s and I'm not or well, I'm just touching on 80 so there's a 10 degree difference in average temperatures just by uh, applying that undervolt and doing a 15 second synthetic CPU stress test but this this is a stress test um, where you're really pushing your CPU to its limits let me show you what it looks like in game so this is my in-game benchmark. On the left hand side, undervolting is on. On the right hand side, undervolting is off. And straight off the bat, you can see the CPU temperatures range anywhere between five to 10 degrees cooler. And because the CPU affects the GPU, you can see where undervolting is off, the GPU temperature is also higher. Now guys, this is a very short little benchmark that I did. Um, so the longer you play, the bigger difference you'll notice. Um, so this just goes to prove how undervolting really does help out in temperatures and then over a prolonged period of time giving you more sustained performance as well. But guys that's, that's the video for today, thank you so much for watching, if you've got any questions hit me up in the comment section, other than that guys it's people like you, have a good day, cheers.